Humphrey. Good morning, Mama. Let's go. Okay. So today is a bit of a special day because we're gonna be going on an off-leash adventure with this little one over here and Winston as well. And this is gonna be our gift to Bella because she's turning one next week. Can you believe it already? She is turning one year old. It's just ridiculous. Time flies by. Bella, inside. But before we even get to the fun stuff, we need to talk about Bella's training. So what I've been really working on between last update video and this update video is building up Bella's confidence because as you guys know, Bella is not the most confident dog in the world. When it comes to strangers and new situations, she likes to run away. So what I like to do is I work her around Canadian Tire. Canadian Tire is a pet friendly store, so you're allowed to bring your pets inside. But if you remember six months ago, I was not bringing her inside. I worked her outside of the store because if I were to bring her inside, it would have ended in a disaster. She would have freaked out and she would have lost trust in me. So I wanted to take it slowly and eventually by building up that confidence in her, I was able to bring her inside of the store, but that was a struggle as well because she was afraid of the automatic doors. So in this video, I just want to see how she was gonna react to the automatic doors. So I brought it to the door, it opened, and yes, she ran away as predicted, but that's totally fine. You can be afraid of things, but I want you to overcome these fears because it's not a scary thing. So what we do is we desensitize her to the door and I use food as a way to reward her. So what I do is I just kind of bring her close to the door, the door opens, and then I give her food as a reward. And we kind of do this over and over and over again. And I did two sessions of this. They lasted maybe five, 10 minutes each. And then we made our way inside. Now I could have done it in one session, but it was the middle of winter and it was freezing and I just want to get out of there. And also I was not in a rush, right? Like she has a whole life to work and train and do all these things. So there's no reason for me to kind of flood her in this situation. So we took it nice and slow and then we made our way inside. Now what's really important about this first session is that I had to go in with zero expectations, right? I was not gonna give her any commands. It was just a way for her to desensitize to something new and build up her confidence. So we just kind of walked around and that was it, right? We lasted maybe five, again, five, 10 minutes inside of the store. I rewarded her with food and that was it. And we did this multiple times and it got to the point where her confidence boosted a lot. She's still nervous around people, but She's able to hold her own and she trusts me so much more. Because she's been doing so well, I want to take her during a time when the store was busy. This day there was a lot of people, a lot of loud noises and a lot of carriages kind of clanking around. And as soon as we went in, there was this family who started to cat call her. But of course, Bella doesn't really care about them because she doesn't want to be around them. She's not going to go walk up to strangers. That's just not in her personality. As you guys can see, Bella is a little stressed here, but that's okay, stress is good. Now I know you're thinking, how is stress good? Why do you wanna put stress on your dog? Stress is a part of life. You cannot avoid stress. It's just, it's gonna come up. So I wanna put my dog in a position where she's gonna succeed during stress. Which is why, again, six months ago, I did not bring her into the store because that was gonna be too much stress. There was not enough structure. She was always just gonna run away. So we built up her confidence, we built up her stress tolerance, and then we were able to bring her inside. All I'm asking her to do is to stay in the heel. And when you stay in the heel, no one's gonna bother you because I'm not gonna let them bother you, first and foremost. And secondly, good things happen when you're in a heel, right? I'm gonna be re rewarding you with food. So we turned a corner over here and I saw a bench and I thought, great, this is a perfect opportunity to build up some more confidence because when you tell your dog to get up on things, it just shows them that they can succeed in a given situation. So I told her to get up, but then she started to shake. And I thought that was weird. And the reason for that was because the bench was on uneven flooring. So she ended up falling off and I was like, oh damn, she failed. 
but we didn't go away. We didn't run away from that. I fixed the bench for her and I told her to get back up on there so she can succeed. I don't want her last thought being, man, I failed on this bench. I can't do this. No, you can do this and I'm gonna help you through this. And when you do do it, I'm gonna give you some food as a reward. Lastly, before we left, we worked on some stability work, which is just basically having her hold it down in a high traffic area. Now this is very stressful for her, but it is a test and I wanna see how well she will cope with these stressors. And as you can see, she's coping fairly well. Now towards the end, you're gonna see she's about to teeter over the edge, but before she does, I call her away so I can bring her back under threshold. Freak. This way. So the dogs just took off and one of the things that we like to do is hide from them. Ah, they came back. They sensed it. We're about to hide from them. Okay, wait, I'm going to send them off and then we'll hide from them again. Okay, let's hide. Oh, damn it. You're too good. You're too good, mama. Now we hide. They're gone. Come on, come on. Oh. No. <laughs>